Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how to remove dents from this Gucci Broadway clutch. Now, this is a clutch that I purchased pre-loved online. They do not make this clutch anymore. They do have variations of it, and when this was on sale, it was available in two different variations, one with the butterfly clasp, and this one that I have here with the tiger clasp. Now, as you can see these dents, and here we are taking a closer look, this was stuffed in the back of a closet, and unfortunately, uh, things were piled on top of it, leaving these dents on the clutch. Uh, this is a smooth leather that is impressionable. So here I am, I'm going to put a towel over it to protect it and I'm warming the surface by taking a hot blow dryer and just slowly going over the surface. Um, I do wanna do this in small increments just to kind of stop and check to see how the leather is reacting. You don't wanna burn the leather. The goal here is to warm the leather up just so that it is moldable. Now the key is to maintain the right amount of distance. You want to get just close enough where it will gently warm the leather without causing any damage, but you don't wanna to get too close where you're rubbing the nozzle of the blow dryer up against the bag. So I'm doing this in certain areas for about anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, and then I remove the towel here just to see if any of the dents have resurfaced or fix themselves. So here you can still see the dent is slightly there. The leather is warm to the touch, so I'm just gonna gently massage it with my hands. And the goal is to get the natural oils from my hands to massage out the leather and get it to uh, just sort of reform itself and remove those dents that are appearing. So I'm just gonna continue to massage it. This is a lengthy process. This is not something you wanna rush. Patience is key with this type of process. So I'm taking my time, I'm really gently massaging in the leather and then every so often I'll stop to kind of take a look at it. And if I see that the leather has cooled and the dents are still there, I'm gonna take the hair dryer to it again by covering it with the towel. Now just taking a closer look at it, you can still see the dents appearing, but they have minimized. Now I wanna work this into multiple parts. You'll notice that there are four parts of the bag that are dented, the upper left and right corner, and then the bottom left and right corner. So I'm just gonna to continue to massage it out before taking the hair dryer to it. I am doing this with one hand because I'm holding the phone filming with the other. So if my hands seem a little bit wobbly, that's the reason why. So just continue to massage, 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 and just see if those dents are giving away or just minimizing. Now again, in between massages and blow drying, you do wanna stop and just inspect the dents, see if they are going away, how bad it is, and you know if it's improved at all. So here I see the dents are still there, so I'm gonna go a second time in with the hair dryer. So again, I'm just covering the bag with a towel to protect it, and I am taking the hottest setting of the hair dryer, so it is on high and on the highest setting. And again, I'm just going to go around it in circular motions, with just enough distance from the bag where I'm still able to warm the leather gently without uh, damaging the leather at all. Again, the goal is patience. You wanna just take, take your time with this and just make sure you're doing it in each area in batches so that you're not overdoing it on any one side, which could potentially cause damage to the bag. Um, and you'll see here how close I am to the bag. Just again, close enough, but not too close where it will cause damage. Now, after firmly massaging the bag for several minutes, I'm gonna stop and inspect it once again, and you can see that the dents are minimizing slowly but surely. Again, this is a process you wanna take your time with. You don't want to rush this and risk damaging the bag. So you can see that the dents have lightened up. I'm gonna to continue to massage the leather while it's warm, and then here I am going in a third round with the hair dryer. So again, I'm moving from side to side. I'm not focusing too much in one area, because 
because I don't want to risk damaging the bag. So you'll notice I'm going in circular motions on the left and then circular motions on the right. And what that does is it allows the leather of the bag to cool down slightly in between um, sessions. So now I'm going to reinspect the bag again. And you can see here that the surface is looking a lot better. The dents have almost minimized and diminished completely. They are still there. There are some really um, strong dents in the bag that, that unfortunately will not go away with this method, but you can see that it's reduced significantly. Uh, the goal is to, to get this process completed as quickly as possible. So as soon as you notice the dents, you want to take action. So now I'm gonna go in with a leather conditioner. I've got this soft cloth with the Kiwi leather conditioner. I always like to shake the bottle well well, you want to make sure that the conditioner is well mixed and I go in with the smallest amount I mean this is smaller than a pea-sized amount the tiniest amount and then I rub it into the cloth because I want to make sure I'm not adding a glop of leather conditioner onto any parts of the bag I want to just distribute it evenly and in the smallest quantity uh, because I don't know how the leather is going to react this is my first time adding conditioner to this bag and I want to make sure that it's not going to create more harm than good so the lightest amount you want to test it you want to go in slowly and again I'm just massaging the conditioner in with the cloth with it with the same um, sort of circular motion and sort of swiping out and massaging out the dents from the bag Now remember when I said slow and steady wins the race, this is why. So if you notice that clip in the beginning, you saw a little bit of the black leather going onto the cloth. So you just wanna be very cautious when you're adding any kind of leather conditioner or any kind of liquid to your bag because you don't know how it's going to react. In this case, I think it is helping. It is definitely helping to raise some of the dents. This is the other side here. And because of the leather type, this leather is prone to some denting over time just because of natural wear and tear. Um, now I'm just gonna go back in again with the oils from my hand and just try to gently massage without the cloth, without the conditioner after applying it. And you see the dents have uh, cleared up very much. So it's looking a lot better than in the beginning of this video. I mean, feel free to rewind. You'll see how it looked in the beginning and this looks a lot better. Now here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison. On the top left, that was the first video when I initially noticed the dents on the bag. You'll see compared to now, they're almost completely gone, which is great progress. In total, I spent about an hour to an hour and a half from start to finish on this process. I've continued to massage it throughout. Uh, I did go in with about four to five rounds with the hair dryer on the highest setting, always protected with the towel. One more piece of advice I want to include is it's important to use a light colored towel. You don't want to risk there being any color transfer. In this case, it's a black bag, so I'm not as worried about the color transferring onto the bag, but if you are doing this with a lighter colored bag, I would highly recommend using a white towel so there's no risk. Now here's one more side-by-side -side comparison for last review. Top left is the original condition of the bag compared to now. It looks a lot better. Unfortunately, the dents did not come out in the end, so I am going to be sending this bag to the leather surgeons. Please be sure to comment down below if you liked this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.